And as you can see, there was a huge snowstorm across the United States. I'm in East Kentucky, so it hit us too. And yeah, I've been dealing with this, all this snow all over these cars, just a nightmare. Another variable, another challenge to get over uh, as you're fixing cars, but that's the way it is sometimes. This vehicle here has some lean codes and uh, the customer says it's running weird the idles fluctuating I don't know let's get in it let's scan it let's you know how we do this and let's figure out what exactly is going on hey I got the keys I'm gonna pull it in the shop because it's freezing to death okay we got to check engine light there it's actually not running too bad. I did drive it earlier, but I couldn't feel nothing. So I'm just going to pull it in the shop. We're going to try to figure out what these codes are, what they mean, and what we can do to fix it. Okay, let's open the hood. Big 5.3 liter Vortec. Nice engine. Good torque. Let's see what the codes are. Let's plug up our scan tool. Okay, we're pulling up the VIN now. Now we're going into quick access to scan all the modules. And this basically just runs through all the modules, retrieving all the codes, because we need to find out what codes we have and why they're there. We have five codes in the ECM, two codes in the BCM, two codes in the HVAC, two in the radio. So I'm mostly worried about the ECM. We have mass airflow, sensor performance, P0171, fuel trim, lean bank one, P0174, fuel trim, lean bank two, catalyst, system low efficiency. We're only worried about these three codes. So I wanna go into freeze frame data I like to do this just to get some clues. The last time it tripped the light was 99 miles ago. Ignition cycle since first malfunction. There's, I've, it's been driven twice, or at least it's been started twice. Um, this will just give you clues. Sometimes they don't give you all the data you want. You know, it was going 50 mile an hour. Uh, it gives you fuel pressure. Intake air temp was 55. It looks like it happened at just while it's driving down the road, it's 50 mile an hour. This is just going to give us a direction um, on kind of what the system's doing. Is it happening at idle while it's driving? We just keep this in the back of our mind. And if you notice here, the fuel trims, this is really interesting. So it's adding 35% fuel on both long-term bank one and two. That can be a problem. So now I go into data. I'm going to go into engine data. I'm going to go into engine data here. And we're going to look at these fuel trims. A few other PIDs that may give us direction. This car is running lean. It's adding fuel. I want to pull up the fuel alcohol content. Long term, short term. So here we go. That's fuel alcohol content. Those of you all don't know. Regular gas gasoline should be around 10%. When you do E85, that should be a lot higher. E85 is that alternative fuel. Sometimes these things get stuck in a E85 mode and they will run, mess up the fuel trims and they do run rich when that happens. But as you can see, we have, it's adding 35% on both banks. It shouldn't be more than 10%. So we definitely have a problem here. I'm looking for the MAV sensor and the trims, the short and long-term trims. Okay, the engine is not running yet, but I do start it up. When this starts counting up, that means that I just started the vehicle. It's just at a hot idle. And this looks pretty normal, but the engine is idling down. This is a key point. On a MAF sensor, you should be around the liter of your engine. This one has a 5.3 liter engine in it. 
So we should be idling around five grams per second. It don't have to be exact, but it should be pretty close. So that's kind of a, a little bit of a red flag. It's still adding 35% fuel and it shouldn't be over 10%. And if you remember, we had a MAF airflow sensor code. And I noticed this number here is way too low. This should be around five grams per second. We're down around three and a half, almost even at three. This is definitely an issue. So it's basically starving for air. That should not be this low. When you do this test, you gotta make sure the engine's hot. There's not a bunch of accessories on because it will idle up higher when you have more accessories like your blower motor, your um, anything that pulls the load, your lights. You want to turn all that off. And I do have it all off and we definitely have a low reading, misreporting MAF airflow. So it's having to add fuel. You can see these things are pegged out. Look at both of these. 30% plus 30%. It's running rich because it's not getting enough air. Okay, I'm going to try to explain what's going on here. So the MAF sensor is reporting low. It's reporting under 5 grams per second. So it's confusing the engine into thinking it's running lean when it's actually getting more air than, than it's reporting. So in turn, it's causing it to add fuel. I hope that makes sense. It's kind of weird, but the more you study it, the more you understand. So what's it? what it's actually reporting isn't actually what's happening. Okay, now we need to check and see if this mass airflow is dirty. Hopefully that's all that's wrong with it. We know our grams per second is under three grams at idle. That is way too low for a 5.3 engine. You need to be at least 5.3, uh, real close to that on a hot idle. So let's do that. Let's check and see if it's dirty and we'll see if this reading changes any. Okay, let's look, take out this mass airflow and see if it's dirty. I see something in there. I don't know if you all can see that. There's some kind of, I'm gonna have to put on my old man glasses and see, but there's, it looks like something is in there. Some kind of fiber. Um, I don't know. But I get a magnifying glass and glasses, and I can really see in really tiny places. It's a. It looks like there's a bug in there. See the wing of it right there? I think it's a bug. Can you believe that? There's a bug in the mass airflow sensors. Clean it out. All right, let's put it in. Okay, so if the mass airflow goes back up and the fuel trims start to correct, this thing is fixed. Let's pull up the scan tool, see what we got ready to start it up so what we will probably see right off the bat if this thing is fixed is the short term will start subtracting fuel because we no longer need so much extra added fuel from the long-term fuel trim this is a memory and the long-term fuel trim it's stored in the ram this thing should be fixed and we should start seeing a correction here. This will subtract and this number should start going down and they should balance each, uh, each other out. And this shouldn't really go below five grams per second if it's fixed. Okay, we just started it. There it goes, it's subtracting. This is amazing guys. You're watching a fix in real time. The math sensor is a lot higher than it was. It's a little lower than I expected, but that's close enough for me. We can tell by the fuel trims that this thing is fixed. These are gonna balance each other out. We'll watch it just for another 30 seconds. Look at that, right off the bat. It's probably still idling down a little. Look, it's correcting. That is a fix. It's correcting right now. We're seeing this in live action. 
It's pulling fuel on short term and taking it and balancing them all back out. This thing just had a bug in the mass airflow sensor. Can you believe it? See, we're closer to five where we need to be and our trims are straightening out. That is a fix. Okay, I'm gonna check this air filter, make sure there's not too much stuff bypassing so this don't happen again. It don't look bad, but I do see it's kind of curved in down here. And it's pretty dirty. I'm gonna recommend an air filter. Can you believe it? A bug, a bug caused all this problems. Crazy. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.